everyone. It's Miss Lauren. Welcome to our Blood Cell in a Bottle program. So today, we are going to be making a big model of a blood cell out of some everyday things. But before we do that, we are going to learn a little bit about blood. So this is the bloody bl book of blood. That's a tongue twister. I try saying that 10 times fast. The bloody book of blood, the bloody book of blood, the bloody book of blood. It's hard. So while it does have a lot of interesting stuff in it to begin with, what we're going to focus on is what exactly goes into your blood. What is that about? So we're going to start with what is this red stuff? How does blood, blood keep our bodies healthy and strong? And what is this sticky red stuff anyway? Blood is a suspension that flows through our bodies in arteries and veins. Under a microscope, blood looks like many different cells bumping around in a pale liquid. The constant pumping of the heart keeps the different parts mixed up, but it is possible to separate these parts and study them one by one. Your different blood cells do different jobs and each is important. So first we've got the plasma. So plasma is the liquid part of blood. It makes, about, makes up about half of your total blood volume. It's mostly water. Without plasma, the blood cells would gum up inside your veins. Plasma is probably the hardest working liquid in the human body. It carries nutrients to your body's cells. It also carries waste products away so they can be filtered out. So the first big part of our blood is our plasma. Next, we've got our red blood cells. Blood cells make up about 45% of the blood. Most of these cells are red blood cells. Red blood cells contain an iron-rich protein called hemoglobin. It's what causes your blood to look red. Hemoglobin binds oxygen to red blood cells. The cells then carry the oxygen to the rest of your body. Without the red blood cells to carry oxygen, your body would die. So they're very important too. Next, we've got the body's police. White blood cells make up less than 1% of the blood. Some white blood cells attack and destroy germs such as viruses. Others make antibodies. Some white blood cells also collect and get rid of dead body cells. Platelets are another important blood shell. C a cell. Huh, they're shaped like tiny eggs. When you're injured, platelets help create a net of protein fibers called fibrin. Red blood cells become tangled in the fibrin net to make a blood clot. Blood clots plug wounds to stop the bleeding. When the blood dries, it creates a scab on your skin. Scabs help to keep nasty germs from entering your body through a wound. So what did we learn about? We learned about the blood, blood plasma, which is like the liquid of the blood. We learned about the red blood cells, which uh, carry iron and things. We learned about the white blood cells that can help fight off disease. And we learned about the platelets that help your blood clot and create uh, healthy barriers for your skin so your wounds can heal. So now we are gonna take a look at what a blood cell would look like if it was really close up, really magnified, all right? All right, welcome back. So we have our glass or clear bottle, whatever you would like to use. And the first thing we are gonna do is we are going to make our blood plasma. So what I'm using for blood plasma is corn syrup. And I found that vegetable oil can work pretty well too, but this is the really good thick stuff. So you can even see going in how very thick it is. And remember, this is like the most important part. This is what keeps our blood from clumping together. Yeah, so look at that. We've got our plasma. Next, we are gonna use these Red Hots, which are cinnamon candy, which I just tried for the first time, not a fan. And we are gonna pour them into here. And we are gonna let them sink to the bottom. So let's see. So it's much easier when you use an actual bottle because you're able to, you know, push everything through. So let's see if we shake it a little bit, if that'll help. But look at that, you can already kind of see. Doesn't it already kind of look like the red blood cells that we saw? I think so. We don't have any plastic spoons, so I'm gonna use a fork and kind of push these down as far as they will go. 
What's really cool about this corn syrup is that you see how it's so thick? So things are going to end up staying where they need to stay, just like in your blood. Next, we are going to use our big lima beans as our white blood cells. But remember, we're not going to put in as many because there are more red blood cells than there are white blood cells. We're going to mix them all together. We're going to throw them all in there. And do we remember what part of our blood we're missing? We've got our white blood cells. We've got our red blood cells. But we're missing our platelets. So platelets are very tiny. So I'm just going to use some white glitter. And we're going to see how that goes in here. If it'll mix nicely or what. I think this is looking actually pretty cool. A lot cooler than I thought. I put way too many platelets, but that's fine. So, in our blood, in our blood cell, in a bottle here, it's all sticky, but we've got our white blood cells, we've got our plasma, we've got our really cool red blood cells, and we have our platelets. And I think this is super cool, guys. What do you think? If you give it a try, let me know. Let me know how things turn out. And we'll see you guys next time.